Alrighty, hey guys, welcome back to another week of Inktober. Now I am switching up my techniques once again. I am back to my Illo sketchbook with my white paper and this week's technique I'm choosing to use for the whole week just to kind of switch it up is cross hatching. Now I've taught on this before. If you guys need help with cross hatching, then make sure you go and check out my tutorial on cross hatching if you want to try that for maybe the last couple weeks of Inktober. It's a lot of fun and it's what made me fall in love with ink in the first place. So it's going pretty basic with these. I'm just using a ballpoint pen on all these weeks, tut I mean, not tutorials in my videos, <laughs> but I'm just using a simple ballpoint pen. It's simple, it's a big black ballpoint pen. And for today's prompt on Jake Parker's list, it is the word week. And I really did struggle with this a lot just because I was thinking of who's weak, who's weak. I've already done chicken. When I think of weak, I think of wimpy and I already did chicken, I already did blue. And I started to think and think and think, what is something that's not exactly Disney, but or maybe just something classic that we all know, kind of? That's why I thought of Jim Henson's The Labyrinth. Now I know you're gonna say, oh, Jim Henson's owned by Disney now. Well, yeah, well, back in the day, nah, he wasn't owned by Disney. <laughs> Anyways, so I thought of The Labyrinth and Sarah and Jareth how they do a face-off at the end and you kind of see her say this line at the beginning of the movie you have no power over me well this was Jareth and her facing off at the very last part for over her brother and he was weak Jareth was weak and he was tempting Sarah one more time with the crystal ball and offering her to stay and offering her to rule by his side and she just went, you have no power over me. And I just thought that was just huge for a weak moment. Here he is in his weakest moment, begging this little girl to help him rule his goblin kingdom. And that's why I chose Jareth and Sarah at their last scene in the labyrinth to show a weakness. It was Jareth's weakness. But I really had trouble with these prompts, goodness. All these prompts this year are just making me think a ton. And I, it's just like, I can't figure out what to do. I'm trying not to repeat any of the same prompts that I've already done in the past. So it's just, good night. It is just really hard this year. I don't know why it's so hard because I'm trying to pick not everything Disney, but it turns out, I mean, I'm just Disney minded. So everything that I think of kind of revolves around Disney, but all these words are just, they are fantastic to deal with. And then I think of like, when Jake was writing this prompt list, I think he was just writing for the characters he's creating for himself, or if he just picked random ones. I think he had an idea. You know, all artists go ahead and make a thumbnail of what they're going to make, or... I mean, not all great artists. If you're just trying to sketch something out and you have an idea of where you want where to go, but I, I don't know if he was just picking random words or if he was just trying to help himself out. I have no idea what was going through his mind, but ugh, this year is probably the hardest Inktober I have ever done. And it's just because I'm following this prompt list and it's making me think, I regret everything. <laughs> I don't know. For one of the my last techniques of this year, I'm I'm wondering if maybe the last week, like full week, if I should just go off the prompt list and do whatever I want. I don't know. It's it's a tough one this year. Ugh. Well, it's a tough prompt list. What do you guys think down below? Have you been having a little bit of trouble with this prompt list this year who participated in Tober before? I'd like to know what you're thinking. Leave in the comments down below. I'll see y'all tomorrow.